welcome back to Hove Woodwork. It's a lovely uh, sunny day in Hove today, so I thought I'd do some uh, more tips for you. You see my hair's grown a little bit since last time due to lockdown and uh, not being able to get out. So uh, make sure you stay tuned. And so I'm going to try and do two tips a week. So on Tuesdays and on Fridays, I'll be putting new videos on. So make sure you subscribe. Uh, if you hit the bell notification, then you'll get a notification every time I've uh, posted a new video. So for my tip today, I've got a nail punch and an oval nail. As you can see so it's got they, they've got like a flatter head on them. So if you've got a, an ordinary nail punch, they don't really work together because this is very pointy and is you know, for for a round-headed nail. And obviously that's a, a flat-headed nail. So I've got a, a quick hack, which if you're doing a lot of these, it will really help and really speed things up. So stay tuned and let me know what you think as well, because it's uh, I found it very useful personally. So uh, put a comment down below and, and like the video if you, if you think it's helpful. Thank you very much. Okay, so I've got an oval nail, which I've hammered in just to a scrap bit of wood just to, to illustrate what I'm going to do but um, so this would be really helpful so if you're doing kind of architrave or skirting board or anything which uses these oval nails um, they're very difficult to, to get in without sort of damaging the wood so that obviously if it's pine then it will damage really easily so most nail punches they come in sort of like standard size uh, this is one of the smaller ones and this is one that I personally don't really use that much because it's it's a bit too small. This one I've, I've filed the end down just to be, make it a bit more useful. Um, but what you can do, which is I've done on, on this one, you can file a profile on it. I've just used a, a normal, just a little hand file. Um, but you can use you know, an angle grinder if, if, you, uh, if you really want to go for it or even like a grinding stone just to make a little notch in it. There we go, you can see it better here. What I've done, I've just added a little notch into the middle of the nail punch, which fits the profile of the nail. So when it comes to actually punching the nail in, it, it sits over that little crease in the nail and punches it down. As you see it kind of just sits over the top of the nail. Straight down, doesn't mark the wood. And then so if you go into a skirting board or an architrave or something that obviously you don't want to damage, that's perfect. If you did it using this rounded one, it would just slide off it and it would just make it a nightmare. So what it takes is an old nail punch and a file. There we go, there's my tip of the day. So hopefully that helped. Please hit like, please hit subscribe, and stay tuned for more. If you've got anything to add, then please add a little message down below. Thank you very much.